just as promised, I shall now respond to the text messages that I sent, that I received. Uh, I, I did receive a compliment from my sermon, so if you have compliments, always send them. <laughs> there were two questions that were somewhat related. One question was, how does a person get past what if and appreciate their blessings? And then another one said, how does a person appreciate what they have and not always worry about what they don't have? And this is a challenge for everybody. This has to be on everybody's mind or somewhere you know, or another if they think about it. You see, <clears throat> in your mind right now, are thoughts of all the things that you lack. But there's also thoughts in your mind of all the blessings that you have. I think that the power of the Holy Spirit that Jesus has given us is the ability to focus in our prayer life. Let us thank God for what we have. Let us embrace that feeling of the goodness of all the things that we have already received. And then let us give silence. Let's make those feelings of inadequacy or mistakes or whatever. Let's make those real small in our brains. So that is my two cents. Ask, and we give it to you. Seek, and you shall find it. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you forever. Amen. Now our processional hymn.